Welcome to Cadillac Postgame Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night at Coors Field, one of the more entertaining wins for the Mets this season. They come from five runs down to beat the Rockies 10-5. to Six scoreless innings for the Mets bullpen after they took the lead. Well, they did a great job. They did a great job. Chase came in and gave us two huge innings that we really, really needed. So, um, you know, it's a, again, this is a tough place to pitch. And, uh, you know, our bullpens, have, they've had their, you know, some tough times, but this was this was a big game for them. Um, I think throwing strikes, getting ahead early. A couple guys that fell behind. I know Blackman fell behind him 2-0 and just getting back over the plate. Um, but throwing strikes mostly um, and just paddling strikes zone. Thanks, Renee. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing they did. He pitched up. You know, um, I thought he used his fastball effectively. I thought he threw some four-seam fastballs up in the zone uh, to keep him off the, you know, the, the sinker. Um, I thought he pitched very well. I thought he got the, you know, mixed in his slider effectively. And he, I mean, that's it's tough to pitch here, and and he did a nice job. He gets two innings we needed. Well, the bullpen was absolutely spectacular. To, uh, chasing. Bradford gets the win. Two scoreless innings. Uh, part of that great bullpen came in. The Seawald came in and gave us a uh, scoreless two. Uh, A.J. Ramos cleaned it up in the, in the ninth inning. But down 5 nothing in that, uh, what, what inning was it, Gary? The fifth? Sixth? Fifth inning? Sixth inning. The Mets batted around and had a big six-run, seven, seven-hit, six-run inning. Capped off with Curtis Granderson's three-run home run, his 14th of the season. When you're down five, you just think, hey, look, just pack our way back, and they did a great job of, you know, taking what uh, they could get. Got some hits and some big homers by Grandy and, and, and Jay, and we got back in it. We have a team that can score some runs. We can score them in bunches. We just got to get opportunities to continue to swing the bats, and anybody one through nine can go ahead and do it. Rosario with a big triple. Uh, Jay Bruce with a big opposite field home run there. You know, a lot of guys that can go ahead and swing the bats anywhere throughout the lineup. Maybe the spark for the Mets came in the previous inning. Ahmed Rosario pulled one past Nolan Arenado down the left field line. Drove in a run, and rather than settle for a double, a fan interfered with the ball, but he ran so hard that the umpires credited him with a fan interference triple, and the Mets st basically stole a run. They sure did. That run would not have scored if it had been a double, and let's just take note that uh, Rosario, who got his first hit last night, first major league hit of his career, scored his first major league run and got his first major league RBI. I think just my speed. I really trust my legs, and as long as that ball is in front of me, I feel confident I'm always trying to take an extra base. He can run. A triple is something. He came around second base, and he was flying. Matter of fact, I wasn't sure he wasn't going to keep on coming. So the Mets snap a three-game losing streak. They even up the series with the Rockies. Final game of the road trip will be on Thursday afternoon. Rafael Montero for the Mets. Herman Marquez goes for the Rockies. Our coverage begins with City pregame live at 2.30 Thursday afternoon on SNY. That'll do it for Cadillac Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.